What's up, boomers? The LARP continues. I'm back here again. Um, since the last time I was here, this place was filled with water, but within the period of a day or two, it's actually dried up. Um, so I've just been sort of exploring the area. I did decide to actually put on a shirt before I turned the video on. I don't know if this uh, channel is quite uh, primitive technology tier, but uh, I'm not going to do that yet. So I'm going north on the river to what? I don't know. Just sort of making my lay of the land. Um, that, I don't know. You might hear the wind blowing. I think it's definitely about to rain. Um, and I don't have any cover, so I should probably eventually get back towards my... Uh, where I parked, but anyway, so um, so it's February, but it's still relatively warm here. I don't know, it's definitely in the 70s, um, so I think it's abnormally warm for this time of year, but uh, yeah, there's like this mm, really cold breeze moving in, and uh, it's definitely bringing some rain clouds. So I don't know how north I can go without running into someone else's property, but I'm gonna keep trying, actually. Um, haven't seen much wildlife around here. Earlier today I saw a couple deer, but that's just normal stuff. Um, I don't know what kind of, uh, let's see. Oh, there are definitely mosquitoes this time of year. They come pretty early. Again, it's only February. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't see anything up here, but, you know, that's half of the fun. I actually brought my backpack because I'm br I brought my hammock. But I realized I left a carabiner. I have one carabiner. I need two to attach my hammock. I could just tie it up, but uh, I don't know how. It's one of those Eno, uh, what is it? Uh, double sack, double something, I don't know, whatever, uh, for two people. But I don't know if it, I assume the material is good enough to hold one person's weight if it's just tied to what it, you know, tied down. But uh, I don't know if I want to take the risk. I'm going to wait to get a carabiner. But I was going to set up, set it up. But again, it's about to rain probably, so I do need to get back to the car eventually. Uh, yeah, there's nothing out here. I was sort of hoping to eventually run across a neighbor's house or something, uh, just to see that it's there. Now up the road there are a couple neighbors, but I don't know if they have lake, or not lake front, front riverfront property. They may, they may not, I'm not sure, but there's nothing out here. Um, so normally when I'm doing Boomer Rants and Woods videos, I don't run into people, like when I, ironically enough, when I'm uh, uh, closer to the city, I'll usually go to a relatively, in fact, some of them I've recorded on a, a forest on the campus near my house, which you'd expect a lot of people would be in, but uh, it's actually not the case. So I usually don't run into people uh, when I'm doing, doing my boomerants, but um, yeah, recently there are a bunch of people, I mean, they're, they're usually workers or something who are in a place like this, I mean, less less in a jungly area like this, but if you go maybe half a mile west or something like that, uh, you're gonna run into uh, organized pine trees and there are a bunch of people farming them this time of, I mean, I guess it is, it's President's Day when I'm recording this, so it, it should be people's vacations, but I think, uh, oh, I almost fell into someone's hole there. That's the other thing, there are a bunch of, you probably can't see that, um, a bunch of animals that uh, build burrows and stuff. You gotta be careful not to fall into them, but I jumped over a log and fell right into it. So let's see. Uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm actually not on our property anymore. I'm probably on someone else's. I should probably turn back, but I'm gonna see what's up here. It's actually really hard to get a view of the river, which is right, right there. So here is sort of one. Yeah, you can see how it's actually moving. It's actually moving really fast today. I don't think you can really see the speed, but uh, it's probably because of the wind. Now, I, ha I thought about doing canoeing on this river, but I've never actually done it. I don't have a canoe right now. I think uh, maybe a relative do does around here, but uh, you know, canoeing as a pastime, it takes too much organization. If you're trying to get back where you originally started, you gotta have all these cars and stuff like that. I don't do that kind of stuff. It's not the kind of thing that a boomer can just do while he's ranting in the woods. Unless I just intend on going all the way down the river, sleeping in my canoe or something. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna turn back south now. Oh yeah. So the thing about places like this is you either have these wimpy 
you know, virgin pine trees or like Chad. I don't even know what those things are, but those things are enormous. I'm not quite sure what kind of tree that is. Um, you'll see a couple, a couple of them toppled over uh, within a hurricane every once in a while. Oh, there's some kind of animal moving around up there. Yeah, so they actually have a lot of wild boars here. They can actually be dangerous. I mean, they have coyote, coyotes and stuff. Uh, but I think boars are supposed to be the biggest danger to humans. I mean, they're not so dangerous, but, uh, you know, wild boars, they'll mess you up. But during the night, pretty much all you hear is coyotes. Um, I mean, they're very soft. They're, it's not, like, loud, but if you listen for them, you'll see nothing but, you'll hear nothing but coyotes. Now, I have never run into one around here, but, uh, I don't know, I guess they're nocturnal or whatever, but I don't know where they are during the day. What is that? It's probably a log, but I'll check it out anyway. Yeah, yesterday I was walking around and I found an abandoned house, uh, or at least cabin. It was obviously, hadn't been touched in probably decades, frankly. Um, it had, uh, you could tell people had been around it, but there were a bunch of thistles and thorns growing up in top of it. Or, I mean, in front of the doors and stuff. But I uh, weeded through them, which was actually sort of painful, because I didn't have anything to snip them through. I didn't bring my multi-tool or, um, uh, what is it, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I usually come with a, um, you know, the blade thing that you hack through uh, tropics with, whatever. I usually bring one of those out here, but I didn't bring it on my trip today. Yeah, that's just the log. So there's nothing really that interesting over here. So uh, let's see. Anyway, so uh, when it comes to building, uh, building your Uniboomer cabin, uh, this might not be the best place, just because it's so close to the river. I think I said in the last video, you know, during hurricanes and stuff, um, you know, you will have a lot of flooding. Like, this whole area will probably be flooded. I mean, you'll see the river's over there, and then there's, you know, sort of uh, elevation after that. And this area, if the water, get, water level gets high enough, it'll be totally filled out during hurricanes. And there have been a couple times, I mean, the road, the highway... I don't know how far it is, it's, it could be a couple miles that way, but um, a couple in a couple of the big hurricanes you can basically see the water from the road, which is, uh, oh, it started to rain, which is a big deal. So if I were to build something here, I wouldn't want to build it in an area like this. I sort of like this area, but, um, you know, it's a, little, it's a little goofy and tropical, but it's also sort of a danger um, when it comes to hurricanes and stuff like that, so I'd probably build it closer to land. Um, let's see, I don't know if I've gone far enough or too far or what, but we'll figure it out. Oh, I see my car. Never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm super close. Uh, although it is, it is like sti- it's not stiflingly hot, but it's like uncomfortably hot. That's why I had my shirt off before I started the video, but, uh, oh yeah, this rain feels good. It's gonna start raining. Oh, listen to that. Oh man. So one thing about a place like this and this is true in a lot of rural areas, is sometimes they don't have the best, uh, they, don't, they don't have the best, like, water, drinking water. Um, a lot of people will get water from wells, or if there's municipal water, water you know, they won't, um, they won't clean it up as much as you might anticipate in the city. I mean, they're not going to pump all the fluoride in there either sometimes, but, um, you know, a lot of times it's sort of expected that you're going to distill your own water or have some other kind of purification system if you're drawn from your own well. So if you're a um, city slicker, or as we call them on my channel, a bug man, um, if you're a bug man and you come to a place like this, you'll taste the water. And first off, it's not going to be purely, you can't see through it, because there are going to be some minerals in it. So it's going to be a little murky. So that'll scare you. And it'll also taste different. But um, over the years, the taste has changed, I guess. When I was a kid, it was really strong. You know, we really uh, didn't like drinking it. Whenever we came around here, we would bring basically our own like gallons of water um but uh yeah you know it's gotten better over the years i feel like and it's different from house to house as well since there's not like public water um it's pretty much just people using their own wells or you know uh there's an aquifer somewhere around here um all right so yesterday this area i'm on right now or a couple days ago is all water there are a couple pools in here still but it's drying up pretty quickly so, uh, let's see. I don't know why I'm still recording. Uh, but again, this is a vlog portion of the channel to make you feel like we're best friends, guys. 
as we are, we're best friends. <laughs> oh crap. I'm like totally stuck in here. I could just go through the water, but you know, I only brought a couple pairs of pants and I don't like using the washer, washing machine. I went to church without cleaning my pants yesterday, but uh, I don't think it really stuck out. I mean, I sort of brushed them off, but you know, I didn't put them in a washing machine. Uh, let's see. Okay. Man, that, that rain feels good. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I brought up the water because I'm really thirsty and I didn't uh, bring enough water out here just because I feel like a, you know, I had a, a gallon of distilled water that I was going through, but I didn't want to waste it, I guess, or I didn't want to overuse it. I have a tendency to do that, drink like a gallon within the course of a couple hours and just, you know, pee it all out, um, which is good for you, but not if you don't have that much water. Uh, let's see. It's sort of hard doing this with one hand. Okay. Alright, now we're back. We're back, we're home free. Oh, and there have been a, so there are a lot of spiders around here. Uh, this one particular species, I don't really know what it is. It's a brown one. It's not a brown recluse, which would be dangerous. I don't know if there are many brown recluses in, uh, you know, Georgia and Florida and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, some spider that I keep seeing over and over again. Um, I saw like a couple, when I was climbing up a hill, I saw like a couple of them within a short sequence. So I don't know what the deal is with them. Uh, shoot. Almost there. Almost there. All right, boomers. All right, I gotta get back. So, oh, the other thing about living in the country, which uh, I guess is a problem if you're not used to it, is there has to be some sense in which every house is a homestead meaning um you got to pretty much do a lot of the a lot of basic stuff yourself you know you can't just there's not like a fast food restaurant down the road or something if you want to go to a walmart around here you got to drive nearly an hour not that much but like those kind of stores they're not very common so um yeah it's basically just uh you, you got to make a lot yourself you know the people i know who live around here they usually will go to the store every couple weeks, you know, to get big stuff like meat. They'll just throw them in a meat freezer and eat them gradually. That's pretty typical, but it's all about uh, minimizing your uh, use of grocery stores and stuff. And of course, they process a lot of stuff at home. You know, they make a lot of products. Uh, depend depends on who you who you're talking to. Um, you know, the old people will do more of that kind of stuff sometimes. Um, but yeah, okay. Now we're back. Now we're back to the safe, safe area, the, the clear area. See what I got on me? I'm always worried about ticks. That's what I, it's the only bug I'm really annoyed by just because, I mean, I'm not like scared for my safety, but uh, yeah, that can be a big pain to pull off a tick. You know, they are tenacious. There's one time I had a tick and, uh, let's see, what is that? There's one time I had a tick and um, I took a bath and I didn't know it was on me and I drowned it. And you'd think that if a tick is dead, it'd be easier to pull off, and that's not actually the case. <laughs> so I still had to pull it off. Um, yeah, those things are heinous. All right, kids, I'm back. Back at the car, so I'm gonna see you guys next time. Next episode of Boomer Larps in Woods. I don't know, this might be the, the only one, uh, the, or the, the last one of them for now. But um, anyway, so that's it.